Day one. This is pass one of 12. Cottonwood Pass. That's what it looks like. Watch out. Today is July 17th, this is day one. We did 24 miles. Mm -hmm. We started at Horseshoe Meadow and hiked over Cottonwood Pass. And then we ultimately ended up at Crab Tree Meadows and then hiked up to Guitar Lake to spend the night. Mm -hmm. 24 miles and 5,000 up. We felt pretty good. People were scared that we were doing that many miles, but it ended up being okay. Best part of my day was finding a marmot's home where he had stolen a bunch of socks and he pooped on them all. <laughs> Worst part of my day was definitely climbing up to Guitar Lake because I was done. The best part of my day was finding this chipmunky squirrel thing that was neon orange. She was really cool looking. The worst part of my day was the first climb out of Cottonwood Pass. McCall went too fast and I got sick and she didn't know. Well, <laughs> because he never tells me when I'm going too fast. But I, I got better fast. Good night. Bye. <laughs>diary today is monday july 18th today we started at 3 30 in the morning to go up mount whitney the tallest mountain in the uh lower, lower 48, 48. <laughs> uh, we went really really slow and we didn't get sick which mm -hmm. was good um then what happened then we had to scurry down pretty quickly because there's a storm coming Lightning in. Came. But we made it. Sat at Guitar Lake for a while and then it started raining really hard. So we hiked about eight miles in the rain, put our tent up, and it quickly started flooding. So we had to move our tent, but we're dry now. It stopped raining and we're good. But best part of the day for me was definitely... Mount Whitney, the guy that we had asked to take our photo, had just gotten engaged and he was taking our just married photo. So it was kind of a full circle moment. What was the worst part? Definitely the flooding tent. 
Yeah. That sucked. Best part for me was this really cool light shaft. It was really dark when we started hiking, but then you, you, you reached the ridge line and then the sun shined through. It was really, really cool. And the worst part was definitely the tent. The tent was not fun, but we're in the tent now and it's, it's, dry. it's dry. So all is well. Time for bed. Bye. feet or so. Doing good. <laughs> diary today is day three which is tuesday the 19th um, we started at wallace creek and went up and over bighorn plateau um, back down to tyndall creek and then up over forester pass um, now we are ultimately at um, the, the drainage of, of bullfrog lake it turned out to be about an 18 mile What was your high and low? My high was the the views going over Bighorn Plateau were absolutely incredible in the morning light. We were the only ones out there. It was really, really pretty. Uh, my low was definitely the last two miles descending from Forrester down into uh, Bubs Creek. Um, the map was wrong. There was two extra miles that I, I did not prepare for mentally. But a good day all in all. My high was the walk down from Forester. It was beautiful and finally sunny outside. My low was definitely the mosquitoes at Bubs Creek. I had to protect Zach with all my might while he was filtering the water because he was being attacked viciously. I was. She had to slap him off my back. Yeah, but it was a good day. We're feeling a lot better today than yesterday. Good night. Bye, diary. And pass? Pass number four of twelve. Four of twelve, like eleven thousand nine hundred feet. Just had sandwiches from mom and dad. They were delicious, <laughs> but they made full. us really full. Some beers too, but it's beautiful, so man. Dear Diary, today is Wednesday the 20th, 
Um, day four on the trail, we started at the Bullfrog Lake Junction where we waited for my parents who showed up after a little nerve wracking wait. We weren't sure where they were, but around 9 a.m. they showed up with pizza and beer and bell peppers and, and, carrots. and carrots and potato chips Yum. and focaccia bread with Italian hoagies on the focaccia. It was all very wonderful and it's exactly what we needed. Mm -hmm. uh, we hiked with them for about three miles to below Glen Pass, um, sat at a lake there that was a hot climb and we ate our sandwiches and drank some, some beers and then uh, we said goodbye to them, gave them hugs and kisses and uh, we went up to Glen Pass what do we see at Glen Pass? Donkeys. Big donkeys. This guy was riding mules. Um, the first horse type things we've seen on the trail. Uh, then we went down, 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 down to Ray Lakes. Ray Lakes was uh, really beautiful. Um, one went of my favorite swimming. alpine lakes. Took, took a plunge. And then we kept going down, 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 down till we hit, uh, we're at Woods Creek now, the suspension bridge on Woods Creek. Um, Meant to go a little farther, but after the late start, just decided to sit here at the bridge. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, what was your highs and lows, McCall? I really like the bell peppers today, and I like seeing the mules, and my low was I had to poop really bad and I couldn't find anywhere to go. And my <laughs> high was definitely the focaccia sandwich, oh, with the, the Italian meats and the Italian um, <laughs> vinegar on it. it was really really yummy videos. and then <laughs> my low was the four miles down from Ray Lakes mm -hmm. to where we're at it was uh, pretty shitty it was really hot but tomorrow is another day and look and at my tan line we have really bad tan lines and they're only gonna get worse tomorrow and my teeth are falling out I think well, <laughs> damn it that's because we have crappy travel size toothbrushes Good night. Good night. <laughs> Hello. Pinch -o pass. Pinch it, it pass. I really have to poop and I've been pinching it hard. <laughs> that one was hard. <laughs> 500 vert from valley floor up to 12,000 feet, 8,500 to 12,000. But we're here and it's beautiful. diary today is thursday july 21st that's right and we started at woods creek suspension bridge and we hiked over 3500 feet up to pincho pass we had to dig ourselves out of a canyon a big one and then we descended over the pass into what I call the land of the lakes, which was Marjorie Lake. And we swam in it and it was very refreshing. Zach was having a very hard time because of the heat. It was real hot. It was very hot. And then we continued walking. We did about 14 miles total. Um, and now we are at the base of Mather Pass and we're gonna go over it in the morning. We got here at three in the afternoon and I've just been sitting here because we were too scared to go over the pass with any semblance of clouds in the sky. Which we learned our lesson. We're not gonna do that anymore. 
because yeah. we're going a little stir crazy. It's been sitting for. Been it's sitting currently for a while. seven p.m. and we are about to go to sleep. So we'll be well rested for a long twenty mile or tomorrow. Yes, um, but highs and lows of the day. My high was definitely meeting an eighty-five-year-old woman named Myrna. Myrna. Myrna is a legend. She was cruising down the trail while Zach was having a heat stroke and he looked like an old ass man, but she was 85 and she had glacier goggles on and she was just trucking right along. That was definitely my high for the day. My low for the day was probably just sitting here waiting to go to sleep. Yeah. And my high was jumping in the lake. Lake Marjorie was, uh, I was real hot. And it was real <laughs> cool. And it was so pretty and blue. And my low was uh, giving myself a, a Charlie horse or some sort of strain in my, my hammy when I bent down too low to put the tent stakes in tonight. Dropping it low. Hopefully I recover overnight. I think I will. Okay, signing off. Good night. Good night. Now there's Pass. Six of twelve. Named after Eminem's great 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 grandfather. Oh, singular mother. <laughs> um, three miles, not too bad. Early start, only seven a.m. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much all downhill. diary today is friday july 22nd um we camped south of mather pass last night and then we're on top of the pass around seven uh we descended down 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 about four thousand feet uh on the golden staircase and then we bottomed out around eight thousand feet and started climbing climbing gaining it all back up again uh, we are now camped along the middle fork of the Kings River. Um, tomorrow we're going to go up near Pass. Um, long day, 21 miles. Hot day, very, very hot day. Mm -hmm. Lots of time below tree line. What was your high of the day? My high of the day was the this, the, the rock that was shaped like, uh, like a monster with... with <laughs> rocks for tea. Uh, it was pretty cute. Mm -hmm. What about your low? My low was that hot, hot, hot climb, especially the last thousand feet of it. it really sucked. Yeah. My high for the day, we ran into a woman who asked how far away she was from the Golden Staircase and she had passed it miles ago, probably the day before actually, but she had been looking for a staircase that was actually made of gold. Um, so we got a good laugh out of that one, and my low for the day was going to be the climb that Zach was talking about, but he just farted and I almost puked on to our sleeping bag, so I think that that's probably my new low for the day. And that's that. Good night, diary. <laughs> good night. Yeah.
guess past seven of twelve. Might be seven of seven if it stays like this. It's a little smoke. Disgusting. Yeah. Morale is low. Oxygen levels are low. Pretty much worst case scenario. But we're gonna press on and figure out where to exit if we need to. Dear diary, we come with oh. some bad news. The fires have gone out of hand, so we have no choice but to leave the trail. We have a shuttle picking us up tomorrow. Yeah, the fire, where is it? Mariposa? In Mariposa. Doubled overnight. It's uh, 10,000 acres now, all blowing right at us. There's no point in hiking if you can't. Yeah, it was see. a rough day. It was very smoky. You can't really see anything. So. Which is a shame because our bodies are absolutely fine. We just did a 22 mile day today. We started at uh, Star Camp south of Muir Pass and ended up on the Joaquin River. We we're like three miles from MTR. Uh, we'll get a ride out from there tomorrow, but all in all, we've done like 130 some miles over seven days. Uh, it's all the best parts of the trail, I think, so can't be too sad about it. But again, it just doesn't make sense to hike and smoke. Um, that's California for you. But maybe we'll come back one day and do the other half of the trail. Who knows? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. What was your high for the day? Oh god, I didn't even. Um, I enjoyed meeting the people at Muir Pass. That was nice. We met a really cool family up there. And my low for the day was breathing in smoke all day. Yeah, my high was the, the shelter at the top of Muir Pass was really cool. And my low was having to hike up 2,000 vertical feet with an N95 mask on. That's... Uh, <laughs> Even the people in COVID didn't ask for that. Yeah. It's a shame. So, yeah, it's, uh, we'll, we'll check back in, but it's a somber night, but still, we're, we're happy to be here and happy to... Happy to have a way out tomorrow. Yes, happy to be able to exit within a, within a few short miles, I guess. Yeah. Good night, diary. Bye. diary today is sunday <laughs> july 24th we are in the Wyndham hotel at fresno california after a long day of the longest day of my life probably 12 miles of hiking from somewhere to muir trail ranch to florence lake trailhead and then six hours of waiting at that trailhead for a shuttle and then the most ridiculous shuttle ride I've ever been on almost four hours of the bumpiest paved road pothole paved road on the edge of a cliff that I've ever seen but we are now in civilization in Fresno and we have a 6 a.m. flight out tomorrow um, as you drove into Fresno you could see the giant plume of smoke coming out of Mariposa, so I think we made the right decision there. Right, McCall? Yeah, definitely. 
What was your high for the day, McCall? Taking a shower. Yeah, that was nice. What was your low? Um, the car ride was so horrible. I was about to puke the whole time and the driver would not shut up. He talked the whole time. It was so bad. I hated every minute of it. Yeah, that was pretty rough. My high was the Domino's pizza we got when we got to the, the hotel. And my low was the last three miles going around the lake because they seemed to take forever, especially when you started hiking at 5 a.m. But we're here, we're back in civilization, and we're very thankful for the wonderful trip we had. It was a wonderful experience all in all, and it, it, it has finally come to an end, but that's okay. We're not home yet, so maybe we'll be checking in tomorrow from a different hotel. From a different hotel at a different city. Good night, diary.